Blackpool. The Paralympics is coming up and it's going to be your fifth Paralympic Games. How does that feel? Uh, I was really happy to be competing at my fifth. It's been, been a really busy and hard qualification period so to get over the line and to have qualified and be going to my fifth is just just really really makes me really happy and I'm really pleased I think it's it's special the Paralympic Games and to be competing again just just makes me really happy. You've had such an incredible career so far looking sort of more into Paris what are your hopes sort of both individually and working with Billy in the doubles? I think, I think sport, sport can be, you never know what you're going to get with sport but I think to go out and play my best and try and perform my best and I think anything's possible especially in the doubles with Billy I mean we're, we're world champions and we're one of the best teams in the world and I think we have a really great chance to do well in the doubles as well as singles I think I'm in a good position so I'll go out and try and do my best and I think anything's possible. What is it that you think works between you two that gives you such a positive chemistry within as a doubles parent? I think uh, I think me and Billy believe in each other and we know we can rely on each other and we both know it's it can get difficult at times but I think we've always got each other's back and we always support each other and we never never have a go at each other for, for missing missing shots. We're always positive and always trying to encourage each other and I think that, that makes us such a close team. What was it like sort of being able looking down at those medals, knowing that you you're a Paralympic medalist in on in more than one front. What was that like? I had, Tokyo was amazing, it was a really proud moment for me and I, I couldn't believe it. I'd, I'd been to four power, three Paralympics and not medal, so to go t to there you don't think it's going to happen. So to finally get those medals and play so well, it was one of the best performances of my career. I, it was just amazing, it made, made me be so happy and I was just over the moon with my performance in Tokyo. I, th I think it was a bit different because of Covid and having no one in the hall, it was a bit quiet. I think Paris will be, be have more fans because it's really popular over there, table tennis. So I think I think it will be noisy and I, th I think it will be good because I think it will get get the players out more with, with noisy fans in there. So I think it will be different in that respect. Do you have anyone, sort of family, friends, loved ones that will be coming over to support you? Yeah, I'm really happy. My ma my mum and brother have decided to travel to watch me. My mum hasn't watched me since London 2012, so it's been a long time. So I'm over the moon that she's able to make it. And my brother's never watched me play in international table tennis, so I'm really happy he can make it as well. So it's it's, it's really nice to have my family there. I noticed, I spotted while you were playing, you have a few tattoos of some of the previous uh, Paralympics you've been at. Is there another one planned for after Paris? Yeah, I'll, I'll be planning the, the Paris the Paris tattoo to go with the tattoos I've got of my other four Paralympics. It's been a busy period so I haven't really had time but it'll definitely be on the cards after the Games.